Hey, poker peeps, this is Sky with Smart Poker Study. You're about to watch a preview for my upcoming webinar called Finding and Plugging Leaks with Poker Tracker 4. I'm going to start with a mind map for the webinar. Now, this is a visual representation of everything I'm going to teach you. After that, I'm going to open up Poker Tracker 4 and make sure you follow along because I'm going to show you how to find one of the leaks that I help you plug within the webinar. And then following that, make sure you stick around to the very end because I'm going to give you an offer code for 10% off of this webinar. Let's do it. The Finding and Plugging Leaks with Poker Tracker 4 webinar will be held on Wednesday, May 29th, 2019 at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. In this webinar, I'm going to help you plug the leak of I don't know how to find my leaks with Poker Tracker 4. So is this the right webinar for you? Well, if you use Poker Tracker 4, you want to find and plug your leaks, you want to learn more about Poker Tracker 4 and how to use it effectively, and you want to exploit the same leaks in others. If all of those are true for you, yes, this webinar is for you. As for the agenda, we're going to discuss what are leaks and where do they come from, seven costly leaks, and I'm going to show you how to find them using statistics, filtering, and a leak tracker. We will discuss leak plugging minimum effective dose strategies. These are basically the simplest steps to take that will lead yield result and we'll talk about finding others with this leak and how to exploit them of course i'm going to tell you how to play and study with purpose off and on the felt there's going to be plenty of hand examples throughout the webinar and 12 bonuses for you a lovely excel spreadsheet that's going to help you find and plug your leaks six reports to help you find leaky opponents and four pretty complicated leak filters to help you run them or to help you find your own leaks Alrighty, one of the leaks I help you plug in the webinar, it's called Double Barrel Madness. Um, Pagan01 and Grunge Bob are lovely listeners. They each sent me about 10,000 hands so that I can use those hands to go through, find, and help them plug leaks. And in turn, in the webinar, I'm helping you do it too, right? So, Double Barrel Madness. How do you know that you potentially suffer from this leak? Well, three indications right here. Turn, C-Bet success, is too low. Uh, you might have never heard about the turn CBET success statistic. Let me show you that. If you ever have a question on any statistic, just go to configure statistics, type in a couple letters from the stat and all the other stats pop up. CBET turn success, percentage of the time that a player's turn CBET won the pot without any resistance. So that was the first indicator that Grunge Bob, you can see I have him highlighted in orange, first indicator that he suffered from this leak right here. Second indicator is the percentages for CBET flop and CBET turn. So let's enter some numbers in here for Pagan. We could see right now CBET success, 45% on the turn. His flop CBET is 53, turn CBET 67. Now these are pretty decent kind of average winning player stats right here. See betting the flop around 50, the turn a little bit more frequently right there. Pretty selective and at least the flop C bets not not all that often, just about 50% of the time. Now we'll take a look at win rates in just a little bit, but let me show you how much Grunge Bob's statistics differ from Pagan. Now Grunge Bob, he his turn C bet success is only 28%. Far lower, right? And then take a look at this. See Ben on the flop, 69 and then 74. This is what I'm talking about when I mention double barrel madness. This player loves to double barrel. Three out of every four hands, they're throwing out that uh, turn C bet after they C bet 70% on the flop, right? Um, when your opponents, when they see this, they see that you C bet a ton. That means you have a lot of bluffs, right? They don't believe, so they call with weaker hands and with weaker draws. They aren't folding to all of your bluffs, even though you want them to fold right now. So those are the first indicators that there is a problem. The true indicator, what uh, finally clues me into you having some kind of a leak, is that your turn CBET win rate is lower than the flop or potentially negative as well. So let's take a look at Pagan01, who has pretty good um, CBET win rate. So on the flop right here, Flop bet, flop continuation bet. So Pagan, win rate when they see bet 444 big blinds per 100 hands, which is also 4.44 big blinds per hand. On average, they are winning when they see bet. Let's take a look at Grunge. 
258, okay, a little bit lower. And that does make sense because they are seabedding so much more frequently. Um, they just aren't getting the folds because your opponents are just not believing you, right? Now let's take a look. We'll go back to Pagan. Turn seabet. Oh my gosh, what is it? 616 big blinds. Great. That is perfect. For every turn seabet uh, Pagan makes, on average, they earn 6.16 big blinds per turn seabet, which is great. 444 up to 616. That's a lovely win rate right there. No problems for Pagan in this regards to double barrel madness. But what do we get? Grunge Bob? Ooh, 213. How interesting, right? The idea is. You've C bet on the flop, your opponent's called. You C bet on the turn. In general, you should be getting them to fold a lot because you're choosing good opportunities, and you should be making more money because you committed more on the flop, your opponent committed more on the flop. Those turn pots are bigger, you should be winning more. Now, the good thing is, you know, Grunge Bob isn't losing money with the turn C bets, but it's not winning nearly as much as he should, right? So this is obviously a leak for Grunge Bob right here. Now, some strategies, these are some very, these are only two of the many strategies I give to help you plug a double barrel madness leak. So the first strategy, see bet less frequently, both on the flop and on the turn, and choose hands with more equity. So top pair or greater hands, and some good semi-bluffing equity. So maybe not those gut shots, especially not those under gut shots, right? You have a six, seven on a nine, 10 deuce board, well, you need an eight, but you don't even have over cards to try to give you a top pair kind of hand, right? So you want open enders, uh, flush draws, and combo draws as well. Pair, pair plus draws, flush draw plus a gut shot, all that kind of stuff. The second leak plugging strategy is use a sizing that convinces them to fold. In the webinar, I'm going to go through a few hands of grunge bobs where we see they are bluffing with half pot or less than half pot bets, right? Well, you're those tiny sizings they just do not convince your opponents to fold they see those half pots players have conditioned themselves to call half pot bets all the time right so what you need to do grunge bob and everyone else with this leak is see bet less often and go a little bit higher two-thirds three-quarter pot to convince your opponent to fold Alrighty, when you purchase the webinar, you will get these 12 webinar bonuses as I already discussed. Now, the webinar is going to be held Wednesday, May 29th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. To purchase it, if you're watching it on Gunroad, click that purchase button below and use offer code POD10 to get yourself 10% off. If you're watching on YouTube, click the link in the description or you can type in this URL right now. That page will automatically give you uh, the discount code for 10% off. All right. I hope to see you on the webinar.